Yes, yes, yes. Fix it. But you need the camera there. Yes, 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 yes. Transforming the latent talent into successful entrepreneur. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, Jin Dubai. You have to be very, like Kendra said, Lawrence. Digress. No? Then only you achieve the things. So we'll say again. Good afternoon, Jin Dubai. Celebrate whatever you do in life. There are small, small milestones in life. Very small, small. You you have a good day. That's a milestone. No, yeah. you achieve something. You earn something. You relish your food. That's an achievement. Yeah. So we should celebrate. Yeah. So today again, our one of our son, my son, Moses' birthday. So we are celebrating today. So I tried. Vela uh, <coughs> uh, given me a task. So give a training program. Mm -hmm. So she took an uh, initiative to give a product knowledge training, then technical training. I think Mohi today mm -hmm. imparted a training. Yeah. Then she given me this task to give a motivational talk to the way uh, colleagues. So I tried. Then uh, we we lost our hard disk. I was searching and Harju was searching for months and months. And uh, the day we met and he found it. Yeah. Then we took few videos from that. Mm -hmm. But Liana made again uh, redo the whole, uh, given her the pointers. So we try for you, for me, I want you to be successful managers. I want you to be successful entrepreneur. Before this thing, you have to be a good human being. If you are not a good human being, you cannot be a successful in your life. In Punjabi, I, I don't know how, how many you will understand. Nita na nurana. Willingness to excel. If you don't have good intention, you cannot achieve anything. Bad intentions will not lead to anywhere. So I we said realization of dream. These are my different topics. I given training on realization of I think Liana saw, Vela saw, mm -hmm. no? In, in Mohit and Vipul's and they saw one seminar. These are different even. Good human being is different. This is different. This is different. Mm -hmm. Okay? Go to the next. Like before in 2010 or 2008, I used to give Chadde Di Parshal, Chadda's classroom. It's a Punjabi word, Chadde. I used to give almost one seminar in a day. The objective of that Chadde Di Parshal was indirect way of marketing, indirect, indirect way of marketing to bring students to my group of colleges. I was, I was very scared when I used to go on stage. I was having a stage fear. I don't know what happened. Till 2008, I was having so much while going on a stage. I was on a live uh, program on BBC, CNBC for the ceremony in uh, Bombay Stock Exchange. I was having a training cell in Delhi. There was Colonel Prasricha who was heading that training cell. And he used to make two, three page speech. I could not deliver. I used to go on the podium, my legs shaking. I was skipping the words. I could not deliver a written page till 2008. No, I don't know what happened. We were in a tour with my mother to Himachal uh, for a game, for a parent teachers meeting, for a marketing drive. It was a new new college we established. In, he was my executive assistant. I was there in Himachal. You were also there. Yeah, you were there. Yeah. He was there. He was one of my. Out of two executive assistant, he was on. He has a speed of 80 words per minute. He is a computer expert. 82 words or 80 words 80 per minute. month, uh, per minute. And he has run his successfully a document uh, center. And uh, he was my E. I don't know how he came to me. He, he came to a different company, InnoMind Solution. Yeah, it's not a BPO. It was a BPO. Non-wise BPO. Huh? Non-wise BPO. Non BPO. We were doing some work for hard drawn. We were doing the uh, water cards or what? Water cards. Water cards. We were doing a water cards for the government department. Yeah. That was a, another entity. Then we were on the Himachal too, as he does said. He was also one of with me. So during that parent teacher minute, I, I don't know what happened. And I started giving lectures. 
it was very emotional too for me because that place my father died in 1969 my mother was with me we were doing a, a program thousand students there and uh, there was a minister of himachal and i was giving i was telling my father died this place and it was very emotional for me and my mother was with me and i don't know what happened and then i be, i started chakdeepi parshal mm -hmm. and there was no end to it there it was not a structured program people gives me topic and they used to deliver even i don't know the meaning of the topic even mohit was messaging with me two years back in london he said uh, he said to alfred go to chairman and ask him give a lecture on chaos management and i put wrong spellings on the board <laughs> then i had told him i have given him lecture for two hours so this was the story behind chandi di parshala then then with this we started the either i don't know how we started this coming straight from heart i just one day i made a group whatsapp group i don't know if i forget what happened and there lot of all of you are here almost and there are many people people from my childhood friends kindergarten friends my school friends college friends all my companies who work with me who touch my heart some way or the other it's not even my kid my family is not there people is not there mohit is not there rasta is not there my wife is there and you are there that's how two people are there jam is there uh, my daughter is not there son in law is not there because they all the time criticize or they do they will feel uncomfortable even in my home group if i put more videos group they get scared or they get uncomfortable so i have not added them so the the concept was i was having two army officers with me when we this one was colonel will he still with us in one of our group company you recently got the memorandum and article of the association euro euro tech assessments he still with us brigadier is also in another group of colleges colonel will made these presentations then we were having three four research team who used to find good videos for us so the purpose coming straight from the heart is a medium to awaken lena can you read for me is a medium to awaken your latent talent rousing your motivation touching your emotional core igniting your creativity and instill the self belief that anyone can scale the everest So everything is possible on this planet, and CSFH is here to charge and rouse your confidence and resolution. See what happens. What I found because I used to give almost three hundred trainings this Chaddeli Parshala in a year, almost one in a day, different parts of the country. the The objective was to bring students. What I found, people are knowledgeable, but they don't interact. It's a one way traffic. So I asked her to read. no when you give interact people don't interact that is the main issue in communication skill that you don't interact you are knowledgeable but you don't interact so that was we made that time 2010 we just copy paste from that presentation then we found the presentation and we copy paste this from there next so initially what i said you have to be a good human being for achieving anything if you are not a good human being you cannot achieve anything no can you with bad intention you can no. somebody blackmailed me in 2010 okay you are in the group you are in the group who else is there jody, jody is in the group there is one what is the name of the group no uh, geotech yeah. one is geotech uh, one is z yeah she is there we send lot of uh, the, yeah, yeah. we had a conference uh, with zoom call yeah, also yeah. i even forgot so he was he met me when he, he knows him happy he knows him sanjeev prabhakar yeah. he met me when he was 16 i given him first job then i given him a job in 94 in, i was working that time i worked till 98 i given him a job there i given his to his brother's job three brothers job he was millionaire because anyone working with me is 100% sure he will be a millionaire but if he is working from heart yes with the good intentions mm -hmm. even i have very rarely terminate a person i think if i have terminated a one person in panchkula she is ceo of a big multinational bank because of the kind of training we give unknowingly you are learning but you don't know you are learning but mm -hmm. unknowingly you know you are learning so this guy blackmailed me and took everything from me force me to exit from 
the group of colleges, ICL, and take everything from him. He knows. He worked afterwards after two years, and uh, now he's nowhere. He lost all the property. He, I lost all property. So I lost maybe twenty million dollars. I don't know how much I lost. I, I was on. I was started again from scratch in two thousand ten. Two thousand ten to fifteen was a very bad period. But he also lost everything. Now he lives in a rental apartment. Mm -hmm. He lost all properties. He doesn't even look healthy, right? No, he's not healthy. He got heart attack. Once he got heart attack, and that time I was having twenty five drivers. That time no driver was there. I rushed to the to the hospital, and I made sure I paid all the payments for his heart operation because the limits of my all every time the credit cards are very high. I immediately paid and immediately. But they paid me afterwards, and I never thought I will get money, or never thought with that intention. Mm -hmm. So he forced me to exit. I lost everything. But if you do with the bad intention, I don't know how many you know karma. That's it come back to you. Yes, it's hard. It will hit hard. You will lose everything. Mm -hmm. If you do bad for someone, you cannot be successful. If you are not a good human being, you cannot be successful. Yes. Successful again is a very Very wide definition. Mm -hmm. No, successful for someone is some meaning. For others, is a some other meaning. No, <clears throat> successful is doesn't mean you have money. Doesn't mean contained man. No, how how satisfied you are, how contented you are. No, money doesn't define you as successful. Successful is one of the definition people says when you're in trouble, how many people stands by you? Mm -hmm. That is one of the no. How many people? Nobody stands by you. He was telling me yesterday or day before yesterday. No, everybody. He he was also bankrupt two years back. Lost everything. He took lot of loans, and we saw him on the on the on the Facebook. Bindu saw my wife saw it. We immediately called him, and uh, he was telling me two days back that now everybody is sending me Facebook request. Even his parents were not. Even his parents were not supporting. Now his parents have come back. He will say, "I am not accepting anyone's request now. I am very choosy now." So when you have a difficult time, how many people stand by you? The true friends. Yes. In my case, there was none. Only one. My family says only one. You, many of you meet Manish, which he knows. You know. He comes here. You know. You also know. He come regularly and stay at my home, and he comes here in the office. You, all of you, make arrangements. The simple guy is a sand guy. Mm -hmm. He he sleeps on the floor. He eats very simple things. He he says, "I'm a spiritual guy. I can leave my body any time." He says, "I'm in that stage." Mm -hmm. He's a so spiritual guy. He was my first employee. He is little bit relating to the family that his brother was married to a lady who's my best friend, one of my friend's sister. So I saw him on the family function. I said, "Come, come." You say I'm MBA. You say come, come. We'll give you job. Four thousand rupees. How much? Four thousand. Two hundred. 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 And ten percent incentive. From there we started. <laughs> Even we have not paid him that ten percent because the other partners say, oh, no, no, it becomes so high. Because one day we got hundred fifty cases. The day one we started the company, but he stood by. Still he gives me royalty. He yeah. one of my car EMI is paid by him. Even after how many years? Maybe ten years, twenty years. I don't know. One of my EMI he pays three thousand five hundred dirham. Plus, I have a royalty in all his company. Like twenty. He recently we got. I saw. I'm I'm shareholder and director in all his companies. Twenty five percent, thirty percent. We have properties. We have companies. They were all my employees. They started. Now three people have started, and they are very successful. I am not happy with their performance. They don't allow me to come to their chair their meeting. I am very tough. I have a tough neck. I put them on to so they don't invite me. They feel I insult them. So they pay money. I have insulted them. Don't pay me money. Many times I say I don't need three thousand five hundred. I am a rich guy. I have twenty bouncers. I have twenty five drivers. I don't need your pity this. But one I asked him some money. He gave me. He always stand by me. He loves to meet me when I ever go to India. He comes here. He he lives our house. Even bring his cousins. His 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 wife was a teacher to Mohit and Vipul. They were not. They were poor students. So 
my wife put them to his wives. Vipul was very poor, even Mohit was average. So, she, did they respect? I think you met on the function yeah, also. Yeah. Na? So, good human being is very, very... How many people, that's true friends. How many people stand by you? No? Difficult task, everybody run away. No? They will, they will, they will see the exit route. No? So, you go back. This is very important. A friend in need. A friend indeed. A friend indeed. It's a very, we have all studied in schools and everywhere. Next. So we tried to define. I just, Liana sat with me, I said, write this, write this. I think we took five minutes or two minutes. I don't know how many minutes we took. I said, write this, write this, write this. No? Yeah. National character. Write, write, uh, read for me. Uh, natural character, giving and helping attitude, lending a uh, helping hand, uh, being a good friend, a team man, attitude of gratitude, um, vibes, positive attitude, caring, honesty, transparency, and integrity, uh, resilience, and common sense. There will be many. We just think we took five minutes to put this. There will be many. For me, this is very important. I told everyone, I asked June, let Anna, you, and Paul, and them. I, I was having once, I have one video for India. I told them, find some for Nigeria, find for Philippines, for other countries. I told them, uh, like Brazil or UK or the people at least who, who works in our country from different nationalities, different languages. So we, we I have a very old, like in India there is Airtel. Here like you and Atesala, India is Airtel. Very, very nice um, uh, video. No? Yeah, proud where you are born, doing something for your country. I think she made the notes that day we were, and then we, she made the note and put. The other day. Yeah, the other day. So this is the video. Yeah, this is the video. Put the little voice. Volume should be high. Yeah. No? I always get goosebumps when I see these videos. No, no video, don't worry about more. But put me that set. <laughs> This punk only, don't worry about it. More, more. More, more. 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 Me that I go, okay, then I realize 
He said, then your mother will die and then we'll make stories. She was a good lady. He insults me, then I realize he is right. Then I go, luckily I have to go. I'm again planning to go mid February. My wife is coming tomorrow. She was saying, when you, when you, when we'll go back? I say, you are not landed yet. <laughs> First land there. So you thought your friend's daughter's marriage is there? Then I thought, yeah, it's a good opportunity because my mother wants to come. So I said, it's a good opportunity. I'll go with her and bring my mother here. She wants to see Pank over here. So I want to go. I'll bring her. Let's see. Attitude. When I was giving this training in that school, this is main thing. This is main thing. Which I was saying, Nita Nal Murada, willingness to attitude is main thing. I see when I do interview, when I meet any people, I always see attitude. I never see the computer skills or the common sense. Common sense is part of attitude. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see how intelligent he is or she is, whether he's very educated, very literate. I don't see. I see only the attitude, intentions, <coughs> initiative. That's it. That's more. Like, we never, we didn't invite Mandi, mm -hmm. and Mandi landed here. So what, uh, see, I saw in the group, there's a seminar, it's better to go there. He was nearby, maybe. He thought, I have not heard you any time. I have not seen your seminar. Let me go and just part. The initiative is very important. Attitude, willingness to excel. Willingness, intentions. So we read. A positive attitude and asset. Adopt a giving attitude, be positive and humble, adopt a down-to-earth approach, be a good human being and always believe in Self-belief is very important. If you have doubts, I cannot do this thing, oh, it will not be achieved. Then again, I told Shakti gone, I told him to buy a secret room. Buy a secret yeah. room. Buy a room. Mm -hmm. If you have not, self-belief is not there. Giving attitude is very important. Giving. You have or don't have, you should give. Help others. It's not money. It's always not money. Time. Sometimes listening some other person who is in the issue, emotional, uh, emotional, he's an emotionally broker or emotional issue is there. Mm -hmm. Giving time, spending time is uh, giving. Mm -hmm. No, time, money, energy. Helping, helping is not only money. No, helping you can, helping hand. Like they just came to me, Mohit and Vela, to help. We have to make Christian employable. Just before this cake yeah. ceremony, they both of them came. Mohit says, are you busy? I say, no. We have a discussion. I come. <laughs> I, I get scared. He's a serious guy. I'm going to some issues there. When my wife says, oh, you know what happened? It looks like somebody died. <laughs> <laughs> they have this kind of risk, somebody died. They will say like this, no? Something serious happened. They were talking about you, make you employable, make you successful. Yes. Go back and make open office, take care of your kids. You have so much manpower at home. Make everybody, help each and every month. No, they just came to make you employable. They have taken, they will be assistant to both of them. They have few plans, they were sharing with me. So helping, lending hand, no, it's not money. Money sometimes you don't have. You cannot afford to give. It's very important. Yes, positive and humble. No? If you're humble, positive, you have to be always positive. Again, yes. secret book, what it says? It says the whole universe will help you if you are involved. If you think positive, that this will happen, it will happen. If you say, no, no, I will have an accident. But you will have an accident. Yes. You will say, this is not possible. It will not be possible. Sometimes it happens, the book says, I have not read. Law of attraction. Huh? Law of attraction. Law of attraction. Yeah. Law of attraction. You can start with something small uh, by getting a... Uh, like I have, I say, asking for no, I say, I say, I normally say I have a superpowers. I say, mm -hmm. I claim, self-claim, yes. I have superpowers. If I remember any word, he will come or he will call me. <laughs> yeah. It happens. Yeah. It always happens. If I remember anyone, he will come or he will call me. Yes. Second, I am say I am a superpower. If I bless anyone, it will become millionaire. No, it will. I bless my cousin on marriage of Vipu. I told many times, many people, my cousin. On we in India, the ceremony, marriage ceremony, we do. Kya bolte hai, ferogo? 
साथ थे बाहर में हिंदी में इनको इंग्लिश में हिंदी थोड़ी आती है सेवा राम क्या कह रहे सो इन रिचुअल्स दे वर डूइंग रिचुअल्स द मोहे विपुल एंड आस्था वर डूइंग रिचुअल्स इंडियन रिचुअल्स हिंदू रिचुअल्स एंड आई वाज रॉन्ग आई वाज टोटली रॉन्ग एंड आई वाज आई गोन देयर आई वाज मेकिंग फन पीपल गॉट अनवाइट I was I was messing with everyone. I was drunk. I was like 26 November or Diwali party. I was very drunk. So I gone there. They were crying. Why are you crying? Both of them crying. Husband wife. What are? Why are you crying? So why are you crying? On a you're spoiling everyone's mood. They say when this when we will see this kind of my uh, we will have kids and they will get married. They don't have any kids. She is my. my uncle's daughter and we put lot of efforts to get her married me my wife she was very bulky in india you have there are a lot of marriages no but you have to arrange marriage you are my my all kids done love marriage but i also arrange marriage we give paper in paper matrimony <laughs> <laughs> so it's normal so then i blessed them i say you will have kids in this year the sand has said and we have two kids we have two kids and she called me and before she was got pregnant she called me no she has she got pregnant and she got delivered one baby and one she adopted and when she everybody thought that she adopted everybody was happy she took told me i i again i didn't understand people got me confused and she delivered the baby one year so i also claim <laughs> i but i say anybody work with me is a million like this guy who ditched me many i have hundreds of examples Hundred in the group there are many. Manoj, Samir, Vikas. He is also saying. He is saying I am also many. Like Himesh is saying. He is saying. He is also saying I am many. So it will be. But the the road map I suggest. Oh, in what road map? Yeah. The values, the the way I the thinking I I suggest. You will be multi million. the way i say i say a road map to success a road map how you can more blossom again this is again yeah yeah positive attitude is very important attitude matters positive always i never say negative words i told you many times i'm always positive many people say even manish says sir you think positive in everything He says, "No, I prefer maybe some good reason. It just doesn't happen." Okay. At age eight, I thought that I should commit suicide. Why? And I have hope. So I tried to give up. At age ten, tried to drown myself in six inches or fifteen centimeters of water in my home. I told my dad I just wanted to relax. Really, I wanted to end my life. I had enough. Because people put me down, and I started believing that I was not good enough. I started believing that I was a failure. Though I never ever been somebody who people would like or people would accept. I couldn't change my circumstance. Say hey, give me arms and legs. I need arms and legs. And I had questions and no answers. And I asked my mum and dad, why did this happen? I asked doctors, why did this happen? They, they don't know. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change. You got to live with. The choice that we have though is either to give up or keep on going. So what do you do when you fall down? 
get back up. Everybody knows to get back up because if I start walking, I'm not going to get anywhere. But I tell you, there are some times in life when you fall down, you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. I'm down here, face down, and I have no arms, no legs. It should be impossible for me to get back up, but it's not. You see, I will try 100 times to get up, and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. If I fail, I try again, and again, and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. Does that make sense? And it's not the end until you've given up. There's still the hope. I'm not here today to tell you that I understand your pain. I don't know how it feels to be abused. I don't know how it feels to feel, quote, fat and you've got an eating disorder. I don't know how it feels to have a broken home. I don't know how it feels. I don't know how it feels to have a broken heart. Life is a beautiful gift. Yeah, nah? yes. So see, that is attitude. No arms, no legs. He's, uh, he was Australian, migrated to US. He has two masters. He was a stockbroker. He charged, I told you that day, $100,000 for two hour session. Mm -hmm. For getting a session with him, it takes two years. And five, you have to give five business tickets, his staff comes. Five business years. Now it will be more, maybe wife and kids. <laughs> when I met, he was unmarried. So, determination is very important. I always say, great determination. I always say, positive frame of mind, plan. I always say, determination. If you are determined, everything is achieved. You have to be determined. <coughs> no? She is very determined. See, she is very determined. Right, read. Determination, a result, self-belief, confidence, a go-getter, and willing to excel. Never say die, fighting spirit. Follow the I can do it approach. Never have the feel of failure. Disability is in the mindset. It's not the physique. And can work in any difficult situation. Yeah, situation management is very important. How you handle a situation. A situation comes. Do or die. Why to die? There's no need to die. Need to die? No. No things change? Do it then. Time is a very big healing factor. And you have, a, you have to more skip. <laughs> Cold words. You drink a lot. You said skip. So, it is very important, no? Self belief is very important. Confidence. You have to be overconfident, not lack of confidence. Go get it. Very important. Killing instinct is very important. Killing instinct, very important. <coughs> Willingness to say, never say die fighting spirit. Never say, I cannot do it. I showed you my certificates, all sports certificate. Yeah. What were those? Tell them. I showed you my all sports certificate. Yeah. What you saw? Different sports. What kind of? Tell them. The cricket, the long. Yeah, yeah, cricket. I saw cricket. I, there's also football. It's the long ball. There's a lot. Did you forget? Yeah, sure. It was high jump. Yeah, it was high jump. It was um, triple jump. It was cricket, hockey, volleyball, 
I gone to initially I gone to one Iranian client four years back. Even I have not started the office. One of the guy in DIB took me. Uh, his name is Salim. He is Nathan's friend. Very big billionaire guy. He has many buildings here. He has office here. Dera. There were twenty Filipinos there. I said, why you hire all Filipinos? Then he told told me, Iranians have a very unique style. They have a lot of food. They, their office will be like a conference table. He is sitting there, and you have to sit there. <laughs> then he told me the benefits. I had a good idea. If one time I was having only Filipinos, no? mm -hmm. eight Filipinos. Then we have first Hannah, yeah. then Krishna joined full time, not full time, part time. Then others like Sandy came or Ahmad. Or then we have little diversity. One time only eight Filipinos, no? uh, yeah. These are good, important. Yeah, this is uh, show that they never explain. You might be president of PepsiCo, you might be on the board of directors, but when you enter this house, you're the wife, you're the daughter, you're the daughter-in-law, you're the mother, you're all of that. Nobody else can take that place. So leave that damn crown in the garage and don't bring it into the house. <laughs> with 300,000 employees, uh, almost $70 billion in revenues. You come home one day as president of the company, just appointed, and your mom's not that impressed. Will you tell that story? <laughs> uh, you know, this was about 14 years ago, and um, I was working in the office. I worked very late, and we were in the middle of the Quaker Oats integration, or the acquisition. And I got a call at about 9.30 in the night from uh, the existing chairman and CEO at that time, and said to me that, Indra, we're going to announce you as president and put you on the board of directors of PepsiCo. I mean, I was overwhelmed because, you know, look at my background, where I came from. To be president of an iconic American company and to be on the board of directors, I mean, I thought it was just uh, something special that happened to me. So rather than stay and work till midnight, which I really would have done because I had so much work to do, I decided to go home and share the good news with my family. So I got home at about 10, hoped, you know, parked the car, got into the garage and my mother was waiting at the top of the stairs. And I said to her, Mom, I've got great news for you. And she said, well, then let the news wait. Can you go out and get some milk? I said to Mom, look, I uh, looked in the garage. Looks like my husband is home. What time did he get home? She said, 8 o'clock. I said, why don't you ask him to buy the milk? Because he's tired, okay? <laughs> he's tired. He's tired. We have a couple of help at home. Why don't you ask them to get the milk? She said, because I forgot. I said, okay, fine. She said, just go get the milk. We need it for the morning. So I, like a dutiful daughter, I went out and got the milk and came back. I then I banged it on the counter and I said, I had great news for you. I've just been told that I'm going to be president on the board of directors. And all that you want me to do is to go out and get the milk. What kind of a mom are you? And she said to me, let me explain something to you. You might be president of PepsiCo, you might be on the board of directors, but when you enter this house, you're the wife, you're the daughter, you're the daughter-in-law, you're the mother, you're all of that. Nobody else can take that place. So leave that damn crown in the garage. And don't bring it into the house. Now, I have to tell you, David, I've never seen that crown. <laughs> I've never seen it. Between my husband and my kids, they've hidden it, so I haven't seen it ever. <laughs> now that you look back, Indra, could you see that your mother was ambitious for you? Was she ambitious for you? And how did she convey either ambition or the possibility that the world was your oyster? You know, we grew up, my sister and I have an older sister that's known to many people here, and um, um, very smart, a year older than I and myself, and we have a much younger brother. The two of us grew up in a very, very strict, conservative uh, family. My mother never went to college because her parents didn't have the money to send her to college, and she was very smart. So she lived her life vicariously through the daughters. She would ask us to dream and be whatever we wanted. At the same time, she would say, at 18, I'm going to find a guy and marry you off. So it was this constant conflict at home. Uh, she's going to find a guy and say, you got to marry him. At the same time, she says, dream big. Every night at dinner, we would sit down and uh, we would eat first and then my mother would sit down to eat and she would ask the two girls to prepare a speech on if you were president of the country, what would you do? If you were prime minister of the country, what would you do? At the end of the dinner, we had to give the speech and she would decide who she's going to vote for. 
So here is a mom who's suggesting all these and putting us through the paces on these aspirational jobs. At the same time, she's threatening us to find some vague guy and marry him off to us at age 18. And so we always lived in that fear that that could happen. But I think the men in our family, my grandfather and my father, basically put their foot down and said, I don't care if it's girls or boys, they all have to have an equal shot at being whatever they want to be. And we're not going to get them married off at 18. We're going to let them do what they want. Was there ever a moment when your mother stepped back and said, comments about the crown apart, I can't believe what you've done, Indra, what a wonderful run this has been. Sometimes, sometimes. Can I say it for you? Beg your pardon? May I say it for you? <laughs> no, I'm sure she deep down inside she's very proud. But I think it's the South Indian Brahmin tradition to always pretend that you're not proud. So she will always hide it and tell me things like, don't forget your family, don't forget your husband, don't forget your kids, don't forget me, don't forget your mother-in-law. That's what she says to me all the time. But deep down inside, I'm sure she's very proud. So see, see her background, she coming from a very humble background. Maybe it must be from their place. You know, the, we have, you show me the other one, she, this is just, this vice president is just 30 kilometer place away from Zaheer Hajan place. How, how kilometer away from your place? 30 kilometer. Huh? 30. 30 kilometer. This lady and they have a big celebration going on yesterday, I've seen on the TV, you see 30 kilometers. Her mother was illegal immigrant, gone to US. When she was 19 or 17, and she was a nurse, then she became a scientist, and she married some Caribbean guy, Kamala Devi Harris. She become vice president. She has speech. Even even president looks very very, but president after getting his he was different yesterday. Yeah. It was totally I saw whole night I was seeing till morning I was seeing then five o'clock again I was seeing a very addiction to these things these uh, these functions. See the achievement, no? Go back, and this lady, again, having a, from the humble background, when she joined, she never thought I'll be vice president. Yes. This is nothing, she's nothing, no? I have to see, 80 billion dollar, 300,000 employees, and this vice president of the most strongest nation of the world. Go next. No, she's the boss of the world. They're the bosses of the world, not the USA. They can destroy any country, Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, they can destroy any country, you know, the UAE, Saudi, all these pay them money for the army protection. They have the army bases. They protect these countries, you know. Iran can finish them anytime, you know. Should they pay hefty money to the US? If you want to become successful in life, young man, he said, number one, you got to change your mindset. He said, you don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. Number two, practice OQP, only quality people. You earn within two to three thousand dollars of your closest friends. I found that out. I left all my bro broke friends. I said, y'all got to go. <laughs> Because I used to be so broke, I'd pass a bank and trip the alarm, you know. <laughs> and the third thing is that develop your communication skills because once you open your mouth, you tell the world who you are. Yeah, I think that the leadership is very important. Leadership skills, being a successful manager or entrepreneur. Leader Read, read, Liana for me. Initiative, be a leader, be a trendsetter. Lead by example. Initiative always pays. Be a leader, excel in life. Age is not a bar to be a leader. Grab opportunities. Never think what, what your country can do for you. Rather, what you can do for your country. And there should be no self surrender goals. So there's a slogan of the Indian Military Academy. The safety Because my, my trainers were from Army. One colonel, one brigadier. No, they will put their things in. No, <laughs> they will force their phrases. What is the lay right? The safety, honor, and welfare of your country comes first. 
always and every time, to the honor, welfare, and comfort of the men he command comes next. Your own ease, comfort, and safety comes last, always. For a leader, you have to think about others. Country first, then your colleagues. Who next? Yes, this is the video. Yeah, yes, yes. This is very good. Sir, I'm going to go to the park and 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 I'm going to go